Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and this is a brand new custom scenario map for the public test server called Stone Mountain. Not to be confused with Stone Mountain in Georgia if you live in the U.S. and you know where that is or you know what that is, but regardless, this map is a challenge-based map where your whole objective is to make it to the end of the trail, turn around, and come back down. Very simple premise, but it could be a little bit more difficult than that in practice. Now, if you were to back out of this map and come back in, your dev tools would appear because it's a custom scenario. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it as it was meant to be played with the vehicle that we are given right here at the beginning Now I am going to actually attempt this in the Scout 800 and these things are Fairly stock ish, but the reason why I'm choosing the Scout 800 for this is because of the simple fact that it is diff locked all the time So with that being said, let's set off on Stone Mountain ah! yeah, I literally almost flipped it over within the first like few seconds of the trail, but Never mind that. Let's set off. So, they really give you a variety of challenges to work with. I mean, right off the bat, we've already encountered, like, an off-camber turn and deep mud, and we're basically in a stock scout. Now, this reminds me of something that you would see on the challenge series of the original Mud Runner, and I'm actually really happy to see something like this because I miss having a challenge series like that, and I think that it's, it's something that really it improved and enhanced the game and improved and improved the fun factor a lot because it gave you something else to do outside of the main storyline and something where like you could compete with their friends to see you could get the quickest time or to see you could get up there with the least mistakes or whatever that that you know is, that that little condition that you set on it could have been i suppose trying to do this with whoa lodestar 1700 what's up there's my rescue rig i guess but I suppose you could also try to do this in cockpit cam only if you were a genuine lunatic and <laughs> really, really wanted nothing more than a scout fuel trailer. I don't know if we'll need that or not, but uh, it's good to know it's there. Now, if you were an absolute lunatic, you could do this in cockpit cam only or at least challenge yourself to do it in cockpit cam only. I'm really glad that they don't make you do it in the con because I'll tell you. I hate that thing in stock configuration. That thing sucks. It's it's good, but on anything like aside from like snow and mud, it's literally the slipperiest thing on the face of the earth. That thing, the the, the tire grip is literally like it's slipperier than a slime covered eel in terms of just driving. And I don't know why that was my comparison. It just kind of came out, so I'm gonna roll with it, and that's gonna be that. But this map already is very pretty. It's a very well-designed map. It's a very well, well-made map. And I think it's actually feeling like it's one of the most complete-feeling maps so far. I mean, it seems like a lot of time was spent uh, really dialing in the feel and balancing it to the stock rigs. Because while I haven't really had any problems with this map yet, I mean, I could definitely see how the, the challenge is geared for stock vehicles. Now, if you came in here with some crazy, like, modded vehicles, it would probably be a little... Oh, God. It'd probably be, you know, a little easy. But if you attempt this map in stock vehicles, you could de you definitely have to think. Like, you can't just floor it all the way through and be fine. Caught myself with the winch there. Oh, God. I love how I say you can't just floor it all the way through and be fine, and I'm trying to be careful, and I end up... Pretty backwards. Stop, stop, stop. I hit the parking brake for a reason. It didn't really help, but I hit it for a reason. <laughs> oh, no. That's what I need. That'll fix it. That'll fix it. That'll fix it. Yes. Oh, all right. Close call number one of the video. Never mind. That's terrifying. It does slip around a little bit. I'm also doing this without dev tools because, again, I want to do it as fairly as I possibly can. And also, I want to see how far I can get. Let's just see how far I am right now in relation. Oh, my God. Wow. That's a little farther than I thought it would be. I'm going to ease it down. There we go. Back it up real quick. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
you have to be careful, man. I mean, these vehicles will roll over a lot easier than you might think they will. Especially if you're used to using, um, using modded stuff. But it really does feel like a challenge map that would have been built into the game. And I don't know why they didn't build in challenge maps from the get-go. I wish they did. I, I wish they did. I don't know how I feel about these roots that awkwardly stick out of the ground, though. It's a little bit of an odd stylistic decision, but hey, I didn't make the map, so... I don't really have room to talk on that front. I'm not trying to criticize the map, I'm just trying to point out, you know... Little things here and there that I was like, I don't know if I would have done that. But then again, like I said, I didn't make the map. So, I can't really, like, change it. Alright, I'm gonna go to the left right here. Oh, jeez. Oh, that got, that got real bouncy real quick. And it got real leany. It was like, eh, it was real close to, real close to being sketch, let's say. Oh, God. Back it up. Trying to get a little bit further along here. I know that once you get, or supposedly, at least according to the pictures that I saw, once you get further along, you're met with, like, sheer cliffs and drop-offs and just absolute craziness. It looks like that could actually be coming up. Okay! The risk level just went through the roof! Yikes! Help! <laughs> Oh, the risk level increased, and so did my stress levels. Don't pull a Hammond. I'm going to try not to pull a Hammond, at least. I feel like if I pull a Hammond, I'll be in big trouble. All right, come on, Hammond. Come on, Hammond. Oh, God. Brakes, Hammond! <laughs> Jesus. Well, luckily, the current there is not very strong, and I didn't wash away. I was also kind of worried about that because these scouts are, I mean, they're not, you know, super light, but they're also not the heaviest thing in the world. I mean, they're definitely light in relation to most other vehicles in this game. I'm stuck on a, okay, that is not what I was uh, interested in seeing under my, under my vehicle. Oh, come on, you stupid thing, come on. You can make this. I'm going to lock you in low plus. Oh my god, I've got one grabbing the rear axle. It was grabbing the rear axle and blocking me at the front, too. Oh no! Oh my... Alright. 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 I got the save. I got the save, and we're good to go. Oh god, that was real close. Alright, don't do that again. When you drive, like, just... R if you inch it over that ledge, it's like, okay, we're going. And I'm like, yeah, that's not where I want you to go. Does it go into high? No, not really. Um, I'm sorry? Your... Whoa! Okay, your problem is what, bud? Yeah, there we go. I don't know why it just stopped going. It was like, yeah, no, we're not going any further. Good luck. It's like, you're you're here. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. This might be a little tricky. Especially if we let our axle get caught on a rock. Ooh, this might be a little tricky. We're okay. For now. Hammond hasn't flipped it over yet, so that's good. I wonder if the turning radius gets better when you... No, it does not. Because the rear axle is locked, and that just pushes me full... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Hammond! Oh, Hammond. Well, this is delightful. This may be my only way out of here, and... I'm not exactly the happiest in the world about it, but... If it's what I gotta do, it's what I gotta do... <laughs> Hammond, you've gotten yourself into a horrible predicament. Why have you done this? Well, I just don't know, really. Oh my god, thank god we're in winch range of that stump. Careful here. 
I could flip myself over here if I'm not careful. I just need the front axle to bite. And the rear axle, really. Yeah! No! Yes. Okay. I'm all right. Woo, boy. Oh, boy. That is not what I wanted to do there, but I'll tell you what. It works. Turn. Thank you! So many last-second saves. Like, last-second winch saves. I'm, like... I'm so, like, concerned right now that, like... Okay, so I probably... We made it probably about halfway. And the thing is, this last bit, you start to climb. And that's even more worrying, Hammond. <laughs> Once Hammond gets to that point, Hammond will be in big trouble. Especially if Hammond decides it's time to rapidly descend the mountain. Because if he rapidly descends the mountain, well... So will his hopes and dreams of making it to the top. I told you not to go that way, and I would really rather you didn't. I'd really, 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 really rather you didn't go that way, bud. That'd be, like, awesome. I, I would be so down for that, like, for you not going that way, but it's okay. Oh, no. Ah! Do I have an offline winch? Yes, I do. What a lifesaver that is. I didn't even realize I had one. I was like, I was under the assumption that I didn't, and I was like, well, I guess my run is over. Guess not, actually. Let's see. Oh, we're in the morning, really? I was a little worried that it was like transitioning into evening already, and I was like, I'm not ready for this. I just also realized something. I should have been a little bit smarter and actually brought some fuel because I have eight out of 19 gallons left. And I may or may not be going through it. Oh, God. I don't know what I'm winching to. I winched to something down there in the water. Easy does her. There we go. Oh, the rain's really coming down now. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, God. It... If you could, like, not, that would be great. Really? This is where you get stuck? Or rather, where I get stuck? <laughs> this is where you get stuck, or rather, where I get stuck? I'd rather not. I'd, you know... You know, I'd really rather not. And you know what? It won't be the last time we attempt this trail. And I'll tell you why. Because there's a lot more that we have to try here. And I'm also noticing that I may have made a bit of a, a, bit of a poor strategic decision with not refueling. And also maybe not bringing the fuel trailer with me. But if you guys would like to try this map for yourselves and attempt this challenge that it presents then you can check it out via the link in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video overview of this map, then let me know your thoughts in the comments. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Click that notification bell. And I'll see you guys next time.